Hey guys, welcome back to Create This Book. I thought another episode was long overdue, so let's get into it. Our first prompt is create color combinations. Play around with different color combinations. Group colors to see how they look together. Make notes of your favorites. So I'm just jumping right into it with some of my amazing drawing skills. In this first color combination, I realized I liked when I was very young because of a Holly Hobby game online that I played where you got to decorate cupcakes. I know there's got to be at least one person out there that knows what I'm talking about. And a side note, the dollhouse decorating game was my favorite. That one was lots of fun. The beanbag toss game was also very fun. I loved winning all the virtual prizes even though I couldn't actually do anything with them. My life was pretty pathetic. Anyway, the color combination is purple and yellow. And that was that. My next combination is light blue and light pink. Now, I was trying to go for my avatar that I had on barbiegirls.com when I was younger. I miss that game so much, and there are lots of online campaigns to bring it back, so if you miss it as much as I do, you should look for them and sign petitions. You can also email Mattel Consumer Services. I did that, and I got a really nice response from somebody. Let me know in the comments if you were also on Barbie Girls. I loved that website so much, I practically lived there, and I think it would be fantastic for them to bring it back someday. Anyway, my avatar had light blue skin and pink hair, and I just really liked the way they looked together. I always do a blue skin tone if that's an option. No matter what game it is, I always do blue skin. And as we all know by now, I have terrible drawing skills, so this drawing did not go well. I ended up covering it up because it came out so badly. I'm not even going to show the finished thing. I'm probably going to censor that because it's so embarrassing. When I added eyebrows and pupils and a nose, it looked like something out of my nightmares. I thought maybe giving it hair would improve it, but I was so wrong. This is where I just noped the idea. I glued some paper over it to cover it up, but you can still kind of see it peering through. Anyway, for the blue and pink color combination, I decided to go with something much more simple and basic, which you can probably guess is cotton candy. I gotta say, considering that I drew it, it came out a lot better than I expected. I was getting lazy, and I'm not very creative, so for the next few color combinations, I just did it like it was nail art. I took a trip down memory lane to preschool and I traced my hand and then I drew on some fingernails. I had trouble finding a skin tone so it started to look like a Simpsons hand, but luckily I was able to fix that more or less. I'm not very good with colored pencils as you can probably tell, but I tried my best to keep the colors similar with outlining and shading and details. For these I did teal and orange, pink and black, Red and brown, which I ended up definitely not liking. Let's, let, let, let's just fix that. There we go, that's better. I also did pink and gray, and teal and purple. Can't imagine what inspired that. On the next page, the first combination I wanted to do was black and neon green, which is one of my favorite color combinations, and I just thought it would look cool as splatter art, so this is my failed attempt at drawing splatter art. Next, I wanted to do yellow and black. I thought about going with the Batman symbol, but ultimately I chose Charlie Brown's shirt. I've never been able to draw shirts or any clothing items. Next, I did red and green, which I thought would look cute on a little winter beanie. Then black and orange in honor of Halloween. I wanted to be at least a little clever about it, so I made a flag instead of just making a basic jack-o'-lantern. Then lastly, purple and yellow. I didn't know what to do for this, so I just did a purple heart with a yellow outline. And now I'm just following the rule I made and putting a sticker on it. Here is the finished section, page, whatever you want to call it. Looking back, it would have been cool to use actual nail polish on the fingernails, but I didn't have all of those colors. Also, I should have done real splatter paint as well. I guess I'm just not very clever until I'm looking back in hindsight. Which is not very useful, so thanks a lot, brain. On to the next prompt, which is to create an advertisement. Draw an ad, it's in all caps, so it has to be shouted, for a product, real or made up. Kevin and I have so many inside jokes, so I thought one of those would be really good to use for these products. Unfortunately, one of them involved drawing a shoe. Hello. Do you draw a shoe? Eventually, I actually turned to one of the stickers in my sticker book for reference, and I drew a combat boot instead, which is way cooler than a regular shoe anyway. So remember I said these are inside jokes, so they're going to make no sense, but this product was pumpkin spice aglets. Even now, it's hard not to smile or laugh when I say it, because it's just so ridiculous. Honestly, I think this would have been better left to Kevin, because he's way better at drawing. Speaking of which, he has an Instagram, so go follow him now. He posts all of his artwork. 
Plus, he's the one who came up with this joke. But I ended up doing it, and he laughed at the advertisement, so I don't think he was pleased with it. On the other page, I did another inside joke, which was flip flappity flapjacks. Again, inside joke, we have a very strange relationship and we laugh at the most stupid things. It's a lot of fun, though. It's one of my favorite things about us. Anyway, all that cheesy crap aside, I did not like my lettering or the color scheme I chose because I realized it looked a lot like McDonald's and then I changed it to blue, which looked even worse, so I also covered that up. I didn't like what I did on the cover up, so I ripped that off and now I'm just starting over with a new cover up. This time I'm starting by drawing the stack of flip flappity flapjacks, which are just regular pancakes, but it's just more fun to say. Once I finished the outline, I went in and gave them colors. I tried to shade, but I realized it wasn't happening because, again, I suck with colored pencils and with shading and coloring and pretty much just everything artistic in general. As I started trying to draw the maple syrup, Dot decided it would be a good time to photobomb me. Dot, really? <laughs> no! Oh, no, she's gonna knock the camera over again. Dot, I'm trying to root. Thank you. I wasn't super thrilled with how the maple syrup turned out, but I couldn't really do anything about it at this point. Now I'm moving on to the letters. Honestly, I didn't expect this prompt to be so hard, but I wanted to put effort into my advertisements, because how the heck will I sell the product if the ads suck? After all that time, I still wasn't able to come up with a good color scheme. I'm not thrilled with how it came out. The lettering was okay-ish, I guess, but yeah, I kind of wish I could have made this better, but I was running low on time. Once again, I'm just putting a little sticker on it now, because it's finished. That does it for this video. Sorry I didn't upload last week. I ran out of ideas, and by the time I came up with one, it was Monday, so that's why I did not upload. Um, and now that I'm apologizing for not uploading last week, I am going to say I probably will not be uploading next week because I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed. Yay! Not gonna lie, I'm low-key terrified. Anyway, sorry my art sucked in this video. Hopefully when I come back, I can find something fun to do that won't look so awful. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Wish me luck. Bye!